Let's talk about the seven most common mistakes that Airbnb hosts make. Stick to the end because you'll figure out how to get through these mistakes because I've been through the mistakes for you and you don't have to go through them. So let's hop into it. Mistake number one, hosts make the mistake of not going on Airbnb to see what amenities they should be buying. I know that for me, I use Pinterest for a lot of things. And a lot of people also use Pinterest for their Airbnb shopping checklist. Do you know that Airbnb already knows what your guests want? They already know what people are looking for. Therefore, when you go shopping, put your shopping list together based on Airbnb's amenities on their back end. Here's an example of the back end amenities that you'll be looking at. For example, coffee maker. But when you click coffee maker, you can see that there are different kinds of coffee makers that airbnb recommends another example if you have egyptian cotton or something more fancy or expensive then you can put that here so your guests know what to expect when they come to your property nonetheless use this as a shopping list before you start buying all the extra stuff mistake number two a lot of new hosts disregard the carbon monoxide detector listen i know we've seen it on the news about people you know things happening to people when they go on vacation because there was, there were no carbon monoxide detectors in the properties i'm telling you right now to go on amazon and get you a little kitty plug-in carbon monoxide detector i'll link the one i use below i use it for all my properties and i've been using it for years when potential guests are going to look at your listing when they scroll down if you don't have a carbon monoxide detector airbnb will actually show carbon monoxide detector cross out whether or not people know what that is they feel like it's pretty important it's the psychology of it so because you don't have one that could actually be a lost booking for you and they might go to someone else who has all the amenities even if you don't have gas in your property get it mistake number three another mistake that hosts make is they always buy the most expensive bed buy the cheapest bed you can buy i mean if it's hard as rock buy it but let me explain when i was first starting my airbnb journey i knew that the bed mattered no matter what hotel we go to the bed always matters right and i was like okay at the moment i can't afford an expensive bed but how are timber pedics made because i know that those beds are pretty popular as i'm looking i see that at the top of their Tempur-Pedic bed, like on the inside, on the top is a foam mattress topper. So what I told myself is, okay, what if I buy the cheapest bed possible and I buy a two to three inch foam mattress topper instead? That way I can spend maybe $80 on the bed and 40 or $50 on the mattress protector. And that total is $130. Now you could buy a bed that's just as soft as that, that might cost you three or $400, but look at this. Here are all the reviews my husband and I have gotten over the past four years at every single property for every single one of our beds our biggest compliments that we get is about how soft our beds are there is another benefit which is going to lead us into the next mistake mistake number four they don't get a zippered mattress protector now listen you need a zippered mattress protector because bed bugs are a threat thing fleas are a thing people might be on the bed chilling with their homies and or their friends and they you know they're drinking wine having fun and then wine spills on the bed if you don't have a zippered mattress protector then there is a chance that you might have to go out and replace that bed no matter how thick your sheets are it gets through those sheets you're gonna have to replace your bed but this is where the mattress protector comes in handy and the toppers if someone spills wine on your bed and you have a waterproof zippered mattress protector then whenever your cleaner comes in all they have to do is zip that thing off and throw it in with the sheets as the sheets are getting washed if you don't have that then you're gonna have to go out and find a whole new mattress now it gets better let's say that you were putting your unit together and you did forget your zippered mattress protector if you have that topper that two to three inch topper may only get through that topper and you only have to replace that topper of maybe 40 or 50 dollars versus a whole mattress that might cost you three or four hundred dollars and if you have a back-to-back -back stay meaning someone checks out at 11 a.m and someone else checks in at 4 p.m it's much easier to go buy a new three inch topper from target than it is to go find a whole new mattress that being said you need both mistake number five although the internet tells you to have a smart lock at your property some hosts forget to buy a physical lock box to put a physical key inside in case anything ever happens to that lock even if you do have a smart lock anything can happen even if you only let guests use a lock box to get inside what if they lose that key you always want an extra lock box on site in case they lose that key or in case your system starts acting up to give you some perspective at one of our properties it is an older property it's pretty historic we basically could not take out the top lock so we have to have two locks essentially we always let guests know whenever you leave do not lock the bottom one because you will be locked out only lock that top one which is what the smart lock is 
connected to. Now there has been about three times in the past year and a half that this has happened, but luckily it's always been at three in the morning and we've always had a lockbox at the property. Now imagine how it would feel if you came back from the club at three in the morning and you forgot to keep the bottom one unlocked and you have to sit outside for 15 or 20 minutes until your host arrives because they have to drive all the way from where they are to where you are and you have to sit outside late at night or even worse, imagine if your host doesn't even answer the phone that late because their phone's on silent or they're a heavy sleeper. So this is to protect yourself now for me if you're like okay but what if i am asleep like how am i supposed to give them the code to the lockbox i personally have a va and she has eyes on our listings throughout the night in case we don't catch a message so that if this kind of problem does happen she's able to go in and say hey here's a lockbox code feel free to use the physical key inside to get into the property and put it back whenever you're done and they are so grateful for that we've tried multiple too and i'll include the one that we personally love in the description below mistake number six Another mistake that hosts make when they first get started is they accidentally stack discounts. Whenever you first list your property on Airbnb, Airbnb gives you the option to give 20% off to the first three people that book your property and that's so that they can market your property better and you can get your first three reviews so you can have a rating generated for your property. Now the thing is a lot of people don't realize that if you put that 20% discount on but you also put a 5% discount for weekly stays, 10% discount for monthly stays, Airbnb will actually add all those discounts together so when your first person books your property, you might be making way less than you intended to make on your first booking. Mistake number seven. Another mistake that hosts make is that they forget to buy a couch that has an actual cushion in it and not stuffing. Here's what stuffing looks like and here's what a cushion looks like. Now you're probably like, okay, but why is that important as a host? Let's go back to the wine example because people spill things all the time everywhere. Let's say that one of your guests accidentally spills some wine on your couch cushion. If you have a back-to-back -back booking where someone checks out at 11 a.m. and you have another check-in at 4 p.m. a few hours later, you want to be able to clean that as fast as possible. So if you have the cushioned one, you can throw it into the washer really quick to wash it and put it in the dryer and dry it with like the rest of your colored things because it's so thin. It's just like a pillowcase versus if you have that cushion inside, it is going to be nearly impossible to try to stuff it back inside of the couch and have it look exactly like it did when you had your photos taken. These are just some mistakes, but there are also some hidden secrets that no one told me and I had to figure out on my own as a host and if you want to learn what those secrets are to up your hosting game and continue getting those five stars and continue getting booked I highly recommend checking out this video where I talk about the seven untold truths that I've learned in the four years of hosting that no one else is going to tell you with that being said I'll see y'all over in the next video